Aquarius, welcome to my channel, Rainbow Wizard. I'll be doing a reading for Aquarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus signs. It is for the middle of uh, September, sorry, towards the end of September. I hope all of you are doing amazing. Aquarius, Aquarius, uh, this is for you and your sun sign, your moon sign, your rising sign. And if you simply feel like an Aquarius, I won't stop you. <laughs> now, who wouldn't want to be an Aquarius? I'm just kidding. Well, you can be born on the cusp as well. You can have, uh, uh, you know, uh, close to Pisces or, or Capricorn. But this is an Aquarius reading. Likewise, there is a, a thread through when I, when I do all the signs or how, however how many signs that I fit in. When I can do them, then um, yeah, there is usually a thread because it's all connected. Now, we are in Virgo season. We are towards the end of Virgo season. And we have left the... The, the key period or what, what I should say, the window, the, the, you know, I guess what they released the, to the 14th, but then there is the shadow period. I would definitely say so, that if this was ever to be a Mercury retrograde, <laughs> you know, the effect I have experienced and what that is, right? Um, now, I'm using the Babylonian Tarot deck. And uh, it is from Roxana Paul. It is from Etsy. Aquarius, here is your reading. Please like, subscribe, share the video. Sometimes I have the comments off for certain reasons. Now, the awakening, the judgment. There is a realization here. There's many kind of aha moments that you're going through. Aquarius, Aquarius. I'm, I'm picking up here, right, that it is... Um, Someone, someone that wanted to express their feelings to you. Really never got to that because it's like I picked up in the Twin Flame reading today. They, they're, they're where they are, the way they express emotions, the way they think about things, they are stagnated. Now, uh, re the sign readings, I don't really go into the loophole. But again, the High Priestess. Right. There is and felt like there's been an ending of this connection. It, it's like a, a, some kind of pain related to it. Right, there is pain related to it. Now, I, I do see here Aquarius, Aquarius. What you do not know that this union, it is the remedy for that feeling, for both of you to make it feel like home. The feeling of feeling like, oh, this is, this is where I enjoy and this is where I feel good because the lovers is also about feeling good, right? But feeling good. We also know that that has many reasons. You can't feel good if you, if you, if you are going through something that is very difficult, you know, whatever, and especially health, for example. You know, I, I know there are so many different situations that we all face and don't think I'm any different from any of you. I just don't... Probably I'm not doing the readings when I am experiencing the pain. It's we, we, we speak sometimes when we have an advice to share, right? The wisdom of the high priestess. But coming back to here, this person is very attracted to you. It's as if you are their favorite playmate. Again, the thread of the, 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 the weekly reading is to be a child, what is it that we really seek? What, where is the enjoyable moment? What is it really? If you analyze the cycle, it, it is really when we were a child, when we didn't have any health problems, right? Why is it that you could just stay in a, a play with someone and you felt satisfied with it, right? What was it that held that child's attention? You wonder now, how, what is their world? It is fascinating and I believe it is the answer. I believe that is why people unite, because really, you play together, right? But then, when you realize or experience someone that you shared all your toys with, all your secrets, all your everything with, that they took that and turned their back without as much as a reason. And, and that was when, you know, again, as a child, you will rant, you will cry, you will do 
you know, you'll go through, everyone goes through, but in a nutshell, it is the same as happening to a child. But does the child, again, you, you might sort of think uh, uh, the next time you see the child, like after the, it's been crying because at that time when they were playing with that certain someone, something happened, right? And the mother probably would say, ah, they, they are not going to play with that one anymore. So the, the mother is protecting them. But when we are ad adults, no one is protecting us. We have to find a road ourselves. But I see here, there's someone here that is a, a playmate again with the lovers. Now, but let's go to your person, Aquarius. Four, four of pentacles, five of wands. It is a, that, that could be someone that is constantly in a, in a bit of a, it's like they have company. It's like getting used to, to bicker. It's a bit about the, the wolf pack, just always scratching each other and like, yeah, you know, yeah, today is another one. Today is another one. And everyone's doing the same thing every day, right? There's not one thing out. It's just, okay, we keep this as it is. And we're actually good at, you know, <laughs> uncrossing our wands as well, right? <laughs> We are also good at uncrossing, they are also good at uncrossing their wands. Now, how they feel here, they know, they want to take the lead. They want to take just one of these wands and they want to, they, they want to, they, they want to leave here. Now, you see here the queen of wands, the king of wands. The way they have been acting towards you, perhaps the way you have been acting towards them, it is the attraction. It is seeing that we are very attracted to each other. Could be superficial, could be, it's like, yeah, you know. I'm better looking than you. I'm good looking. I don't know. It could just be something a bit superficial, but it's very also playful. It's playful. The Queen of Wands and the King of Wands, they have fun together. They, 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 they enjoy that as well. But what they desire, what they desire here, it, it is to find the connection that connects their emotions because they're getting tired of where they are now. It is, it doesn't have progress. It doesn't have, the emotion doesn't have that, it doesn't bring out the death in them. You Aquarius, when it comes to your surroundings, you could feel a bit depleted. And there, I mean, the five of pentacles can also be very struggles with, with, a, with the hermit here, maybe health, just tiredness, tiredness, you, tiredness of feeling depleted in a certain area. And even if you don't, you are not depleted, uh, like depletion can come delayed, right? So it could be because you have been sharing too much of your energy, right? You've been burnt out, you've been be, you've been stabbed down with, with a ten of swords. Mm. And you're trying to get yourself back up on your feet. You're trying here and you feel that I, um, you know, I need to work every day, but I need to stay grounded here. I need to do certain things for my health. I need to do something to get out of the five of pentacles. Now, Aquarius, what you don't see coming here is that someone is fighting against this person to move towards you. But here again, with the lovers and the four of wands, the universe knows there is two people here that they are able to give each other the ingredients. It is not just about here, you know, when, when two people give each other the ingredients, this is also in friendship, family, bonds, right? There is something about this union that boost, could boost your health, for instance, and you don't even know it. There is something with you with them. It's also a, a healthy, it's something to do with a healthy progression I'm seeing here. It, it, it is not um, simply that, Oh, um, I am offering now you the commitment and here I am. And then they are there, right? That's like in words, it, it, it is, it's about two people understanding that by taking, traveling away from where they are, trying some, a new ocean alone, maybe they bring one person with them. This could also be you deciding to um, collaborate more as well. Maybe you realize, okay, maybe I was giving to the wrong people before, but you know, let's do some charity. Let's help. It's giving me some warmth here. You are desiring to get out of the hermit mode. Some of you decide to stay there a little bit longer. You feel that, okay, there are certain reasons why you stay there. Many of you are saying that no point in, in wondering about this, this union here because it's not going to happen. So it is various reasons, but I see it, it doesn't come up in a reading for no reason. Usually, 
readings, they pick up energies around a situation. Uh, some, someone that have a strong bond. That it shows also what energies are fluctuating. I'm gonna, I saw the three of swords. Around this connection, why? So only you know when, when you're listening to reading, if it sort of makes sense to you, right? And also, right, in, 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 when you're listening to readings, often you don't really care about uh, a person it's you are like i've got bigger problems on my hand where, where the, where's the solution for that? <laughs> that right you will think that what you talk about love there's a list there's a bottom of my list of of, of problems right now I, 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 and i can see that for you aquarius you are sort of it's on the very least on the bottom of your your shopping list you are like it, 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 for you it could be like what love are you kidding me you know i got this 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 to do and you're suggesting love oh am i going to do even worse so <laughs> there is something that you have got in your mind aquarius that you are like no <laughs> anyway anyway so but but Either way here, Aquarius, there is something happening that you are ignoring. You, you are going to ignore it. There will be not, you, you will not be walking into... Uh, I, I see that you're going to be very difficult to reach. Spirit, please uh, give me some uh, messages here. What is showing up in the person that Aquarius is dealing with in September? Oh, the devil the emperor, the nine of swords, and the high priestess again. Goodness. This person is going through some pain here. You could go through some pain in a way of something else, right? Um, but this person is showing up in your reading for a reason. You could feel so depleted that you just, you feel, you know, again, that's uh, wiped out. In many shapes and forms, uh, it could be to do with your work, could be that you have to sort of take some time and really do follow some steps and you feel that you can best follow the steps um, when you're alone. Uh, yeah, for, 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 for me, uh, sorry, for example, uh, I have to do, um, uh, take some adjustments for, um, I have a high blood pressure and, and, and I have a, you know, I want that age with women where I have to accept that I need to discuss certain things, right? You know, <laughs> so I'm 45, right? So, so, so it could be something like that, you know, male, you know, you could, for example, if you're a male here, uh, Aquarius, it, it could be that you are sort of, oh, all right, have I not, for example, accepted that I at this age and I try to fit in somewhere else, right? Is this part of my pain? What adjustments, what do I need to do here that might take a little bit longer, but I need to do it regardless. So it's something like that. But here, your person here is going through pain because they're constantly standing up and arguing about something. Um, so there is a karmic soulmate around your person. Uh, and, and, and this has been there for ages. There could also be friends. There's something karmic, but it's very difficult to let go of, of the circle. Now, there is going to be the i would i would just suggest that it's the um the cup that flows over the cup that flows over someone could be dealing with the sagittarius or you could be dealing with aries as well we have libra Something is happening around this person, right? But their journey here, it's something about an awakening, about a new beginning where they were meant to go and they took a detour. And somehow it's got to do with you, Aquarius. Now, you couldn't care less because you, you are not really engaging with this person. You are experiencing something else here that you feel absolutely not them. But here's the thing, <laughs> uh, whether you want to hear or not, uh, some, some are sort of, oh, I want to have good, good news, tell me that, or, you know, wh however you see it, there is the page of pentacles, right? There is an intention here of someone wanting to connect, wanting to, to send something tangible. They're holding on to a hope that this union, that, that spirit, spiritually, there is actually what they thought. And if they are releasing something here, believing, releasing the pain, they're experiencing something during a painful moment. 
there, there will be a, a, a solution. A solution. It's, it's as if they will find the code to open the door during their pain. And they didn't know that at all. There's something about um, anxiety, sleepless nights, insomnia, diff difficult, uh, also battling addictions. It is that, okay, I put plaster on the wound. Should I, can I let this go? Right, right. And then there is a message here. You see, there's a, there's a pressure here as well. And it's saying, they have to say the same number. I think it says number one there in this door, right? Four of Pentacles. Now, we also know as four ones, it's twin flame connection. Holding back insecurities, hoarding stinginess, their materialistic boundaries, guarding and hi hi holding on to too tightly, not letting go. There's some kind of goal they're trying to reach. This person is trying to access. They are not able to access. Uh, it's as if they're... They have been trying to access a soulmate union to be the same as the union with you and them in a way and to achieve the same. So right, so right now, uh, Aquarius, this person, uh, they could potentially be in a karmic, see, see the, 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 the soulmate union, uh, whatever it is, it doesn't matter what you label or call it. If, if, if there is two people that they are the ones that wanted to build this, this pentacle, I mean, that, that's, that's how it is, right? Um, that's, how, that, that's how it is. Uh, and, and I think for a while, they've, uh, they're like, Oh, this is they, they drink a lot. See here, they spill drinks. They 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 are sort of fear. They are like coating their pain. It is something about pain, low, strong anxiety, sweating. But here, you know, there is more of a Cinderella story here. But they're holding on to that. They can still have access to you, but I don't think they do. Now. Here is the thing, Aquarius. Why this person is showing up in your reading today is because, I'm going to take a break, it is because the materialistic abundance that they believe that would make them happy, when they achieve this abundance here, the issues that come with it, the battles that come with it, is proven to be too painful. So that's where, where they're at. And I believe that's where they're starting to access this union because learning through some pain of, of, or not, uh, finding out the solution through materialistic wealth that, that is not really the journey they're supposed to be on. And uh, Aquarius, I know that you are very stubborn and I know that once you go into hermit mode and once you have switched something up, there's no going back and I'm not here to tell you that you are going to go back to something. That's never what, what, uh, what, what is the purpose. Now, <laughs> there is though an answer here for both of you. There is, and that is what the twin flame journey is, right? It is about complementing each other. So, what, what do you, they want that you have is the access to the 5D. You have opened your mind so that you can access 5D. They know only with you, Aquarius, they can access 5D. Without access to you, they don't have access to 5D, right? With you, what it is that you want from them or what, what would be the ingredients, whether it is with them or not, Aquarius. I believe that this person here, um, there is something about... What is it? I'm going to pull a card. I get. What is it, Aquarius? See. It's only them that can heal the last sword. And whatever that is for you, there is something they can heal. With this pentacle. 
it's not much but it, it there's got to do something with healing uh, i believe aquarius they could give you something that is grounding that you need but you wouldn't admit it or it's something about groundedness so yes to be complete over the nine of cups I would say this Aquarius that what they need from you is uh, it, it's that Pisces flow, that Pisces type of energy. You might have that uh, access to that, right? It's that it, it's elusive. It is a, a dream state. It's something that you can easily access. For this person here, it's got something to do about their, there is something about them. Even though they are the one that upset you, they are also the one that soothes you. They soothe your pain. And there has been a moment where they have soothed your pain. And because they gave you the key to soothe the pain that only them have had access to, you are trying to find that solution yourself. And you will not let this person, you try not to think about them. And many of you don't even speak or see them. So it's not really about saying, oh, whenever I open the door, they're there. No, I would say this person here is going through something about discovering about a karmic relationship or a soulmate relationship. Why are they there? A queen of wands. I, I do see here, this is someone that says, um, you know, there's something they're going through here that it says the, the, the ace of pentacles is going to be the answer, but they cannot access the 5D. That's why they're coming up in your reading. Aquarius, Aquarius. You're going through an awakening and things are shape, being shaken up around you, Aquarius. Stay strong and stay focused. Even when there is pain, there is gain. And love here is the answer. Love here is the answer. That's going to turn everything around. The Ten of Pentacles. The Emperor. And the Leap of Faith. There could be someone in your surroundings, a father figure, or that is someone that helps you give stability to you. You get guidance from them. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you are saying here, Aquarius, that I'm fine without you. Um, I have my home, I have my Ten of Pentacles, but there is... See, this is the old photograph and you, you know that there's a lot of memories in there. But you are like, nope, look at that. This, this is what I got and it's true. You have the Ten of Pentacles here. You could have a lovely family around you. People are uh, around you to give you much joy, Aquarius. But your feelings, there is someone here with the Empress that is going to show up in your reality. Quickly, they will contact you. With the Ace of Cups, there is a beginning of love, but you will not feel sure about this at all. You will not feel sure about this at all, Aquarius. Now, someone is trying to access you. This is a tricky one. Okay. Someone here is casting some kind of spell. They believe that through your person, they can access you because you and them have a bond. Because this person and your person have a karmic soul tie, they're accessing them through there. They have learned that. They have a, a lot of magic. The queen of wands can be full of magic. 
they could try to release this sort of wrath here. It, it's weird. It's going through this, this the, the, the high priestess. It's sort of a, an, a fear that isn't there. It could make you feel for a while Aquarius because there is some kind of connection here with you and them. That you are lost. There is poverty, right? You all know that that is an, an illusion. Pain is an illusion. Anxiety is also an illusion. Someone here is trying to send that pain that way, your way. Spirits, what is the most final outcome here? What is the most final outcome? And when someone's trying to send you some pain, that energy can feel like sticky, like, um, you know, uh, walking in quicksand, right? Like this can be very harmful, right? It can feel very harmful. But there's always, and always a solution to it. The solution here, Aquarius, is something to do about your health that you have access to, that if you remove or add something, right? You know how anything health boost we do, whatever that is, whatever we know we can do, if you do that, it puts you in a stronger position. So maybe for example, let's say when you're super tired and you know that say in Aquarius, when, when we're super tired, we feel a bit scatty, right? The scatty one, the chaos one is the night or because the Aquarius in their mind is to be stimulated and clear. You know, everyone has their traits. Spirits, what are you trying to say here? The Page of Cups. See, there is something about a song. There is something about a song. When they look into this cup, there is a song. See the dolphins here? The temperance, the swan. The Eight of Cups. See here, the juggling. And I'm getting this song. It is, uh, I don't even know the, 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 lyric, uh, the melody, but it's like, um, the sun shines bright as it moves across my face. I feel the light and everything is in its place. I woke up feeling great. Today was meant for me. And life feels good the way it should, the way it was always meant to be. It's a beautiful day, day, it's a beautiful day. Now, something like that. And I see that that's what you have access to. Watch the Twin Flame reading. You have access to something that no one can have access to unless you have experienced it. That is protected. A union is protected and you are protected for this energy. See here, as the um, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, <laughs> I'm doubting that there is eight. There is someone here taking a, a decision here and says, nah, I'd rather have no cups and start over again. Because over again, right? Well, then where did my little page go? Then I can start over again. And I will chase this beautiful day. Because this beautiful day is there. Someone is sharing resources, working with a love partner here. Could be juggling projects and thinking that is the key for their happiness. You have also here, this is the uh, infinity symbol. Right? The King of Pentacles. This could be someone that believe that the status that they if they show it is the answer. But what you both desire here is to reunite. There is fear and there is high emotions with illusions. There is someone here that have to find out what they want to do. 
which road they want to go. I don't think, uh, you know, third, we, when we say third parties, it's as if you think about, you know, ooh, what is that? It's some kind of, it's some kind of troll, some kind of witch, you know? Everyone is a third party in friends, family, right? We are all human. We are all on a journey. It is not about being good or bad or anything like that. And you only want, you don't want to be with uh, uh, someone that is sort of, you know, we're not looking about a toxic sort of a, uh, hey, yeah, pick up a phone call. It's over. You hear the third party throwing like knives at them. <laughs> it's not about that. I see here simply that um, there is a union on their side where, you know, of course there's good and bad. There could be a physical attachment as well. They could be sharing friends. They share wealth. But I do see here that the reason they come up in your reading, there is someone coming up in your reading, they could have Pisces in their chart. They want to access this union because they are leaving the union they're in because it's not the way for them. They're not leaving because to go to you. I just see here this person is accessing, there's something about you, the star, right? There is a lot of parties and um, a bit spilled cups around them. There is a lot of noise um, around this person here as well. And I think that's probably why you're staying clear of this union, <laughs> Aquarius. I see that you, you're staying away, but something that you're picking up, you could also be picking up that this person here is, is, is reaching you. Maybe you know about something that's happening with them. Maybe they call you and say, hey, can I borrow some money? You know, it could be anything from that to you just knowing that, hey, uh, you know, yes, my divine counterpart at the moment, they, they just have insecurities, poverty, feeling lost. Whatever that is, is not an energy that you want to deal with because it depletes you because you have something else on your plate. You could have some anxiety on your plate. You could have some, you know, there's something that you're revealing. You are going through something and you want to stay alone. You want to leave the, you know, the five of pentacles. But it says here as well, Aquarius. I just saw 13, 2, 3. Look that up. Change the deck here. Right. Two people having an inner calling of rebirth and making a life changing decision. I'm going to look at you first here, Aquarius. Okay, it is you that have dropped the cup here. You have dropped the cup. You have dropped the cup. The Ten of Pentacles. You could be protecting your Ten of Pentacles. Wow. Mm -hmm. Somewhere you could have cancer in your chart. Yeah, this is someone that's trying to reach you, trying to show you something, but you're refusing. And it's all going havoc in the 5D. Um, also, there is something Aquarius that you might not want to see yet because you have so much else on. And that is that something that you have completely given up on and you've said no in a million years. Definitely not. No times. There's something you said no to a million of times and, and it will go against what you have promised yourself here. <laughs> yeah, that's what it is. But there's a message here that's going to reach you. It's not really going to be a text message that's like, oh, alarm, answer the door. Someone is showing up in your surroundings here, Aquarius. Someone will show up in your surroundings as much as you hate to say it. This person is going to be a divine counterpart and you do not like to, to say it, see it. I just, I don't know why I got say it, see it, sorted. That's what they say on the train, isn't it? <laughs> the peacock has a message. The peacock is beautiful, right? 
Oh, Aquarius, you're... <laughs> You're gonna sort this one out your, yourself. You decide. I, I, again, I, I'm not telling anyone what to do. I believe that uh, everything that should happen, it, it's going to happen in due course, and that also means, right? So during our life, there will be times we fall out with friends, family. And suddenly, one day, we're like picking up the phone, even though you know they've been trying to call you for so long, but you know. You, you suddenly are like, wow, why, why did it take me so long? It's going to be something like you are saying that I'm not um, going to this bar or place or social media platform. There's something like that. You, one day you decide to, to connect with something, not for the purpose of this person, but there is going to be um, a connection from there. It will be sweet. It will be innocent. And much to your denial right now, you're going to experience that you must never give up hope on something that once made you happy. That's, that's the answer here, Aquarius. <laughs>